Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the President of Egypt, Abdel Fattah al Sisi, on the anniversary of the glorious July Revolution. His Majesty wished the President lasting good health and happiness and the Egyptian people further progress and prosperity. His Majesty praised a strong bilateral relations and their steady growth in all areas. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the President of Egypt, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, on the anniversary of the glorious July Revolution. His Royal Highness wished the President lasting good health and happiness and the Egyptian people further progress and prosperity. He praised the strong bilateral relations and their steady growth in all areas. His Royal Highness sent a similar cable to Egypt's Premier Mustafa Kemal Medbouli. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the President of Egypt, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, on the occasion of the anniversary of the glorious July Revolution. His Royal Highness wished the President lasting good health and happiness, and for the people of Egypt further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness also sent a similar cable to the Prime Minister of Egypt, Dr. Mustafa Kemal Medbouli. Bahrain's ambassador to the UK, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, virtually met the Shadow of CEO Minister of the Middle East and North Africa, Wayne David, the Shadow Minister of Foreign Office and International Development, Stephen Doughty, and the Shadow Minister for Peace and Disarmament, Fabian Hamilton. The ambassador reviewed the bilateral relations as well as means to develop them and their historical cooperation in all fields. The parties discussed a number of topics of common interest, especially those related to means of enhancing existing co economic cooperation to serve the goals of both countries to increase trade, exchange and encourage tourism and joint investments. Minister David thanked Bahrain's embassy for its continuous contact with all parties represented in the British House of Commons. During the meeting, a presentation was delivered by the Director of European Affairs and European Union at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ambassador Sheikh Aisha bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, on the areas of cooperation between Bahrain and UK, including the political, economic, social and cultural areas, as well as reviewing the joint accomplishments of the two countries and their future projects. The National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus held a press conference with Tim Keane to highlight measures taken to mitigate the spread of COVID-19. The Under Secretary at the Ministry of Health, Dr. Walid al mana affirmed that the efforts of the Kingdom were not limited to the health sector, but to all remaining sectors as well. He underscores the need for each individual to adhere to the precautionary measures and preventive measures adopted by the relevant authorities, the importance of positive thinking and dissemination among social groups, and providing psychological support as a preventive factor to enhance adaptation to the virus. He also called on the community to utilize a video consultation service launched by the Ministry of Health to reduce the risk of spreading the virus. Elmana reiterated the importance of precautionary measures, particularly with the ad advent of Eid al-Adha, explaining that the spike in numbers following Eid al-Fitr was the result of gatherings during the end of Ramadan and Eid. He warned against family gatherings and advised to use social media instead to control the spread of the pandemic. The chief executive of Tamkeen, Dr. Ibrahim Janahi, stated that Tamkeen has launched several programs to echo the efforts of government, including the Business Continuity Support Program, which offer financial grants to small and micro businesses that were affected by the virus. He stated that the government allocated 40 million Bahraini dinars for the first phase and doubled the amount for the second one. Over 15,600 businesses benefited from the program. Dr. Janahi added that the budget for the support program will be increased for the following three months. He affirmed that Samkeen will continue to provide support for the private sector to achieve the goals of the sustainable development. Infectious disease consultant and microbiologist at the BDF Hospital, Lieutenant Colonel Dr. Manaf al Gahtani, affirmed the importance of adherence to precautionary measures to control the number of cases following aid. He underlined and emphasized that it is the responsibility of every individual to ensure the safety of the community. He explained that the increase in cases following Eid al Fatr was the direct result of gatherings. Dr. al Gahtani noted the importance of refraining from family gatherings and leaving home unless necessary. He noted that the Kingdom continues its efforts in combating the virus by expanding the scope and numbers of daily checks as Bahrain achieved the second largest percentage of tests in the world per thousand people following the strategy of follow, check, treat. 
The increase in existing cases of contacts only reflects the effectiveness of the mechanism for tracking contacts. Dr. Gahtani called on recovered cases to donate plasma at the BDF's, BDF's blood bank, noting that the results of such blood tests reduce the risk of developing cancer and, uh, and help others overcome the complications of the coronavirus. The consultant of infectious and internal diseases at San Mania Medical Complex, Dr. Jamila Sanman, stated that the Ministry of Health will expand the scope of areas for testing and increase the number of random tests. She added that to this day, over 744,000 tests have been conducted in the kingdom. Salman reiterated the importance of wearing face masks at all times outside to limit the chances of spreading the virus. She also urged to wash hands constantly, and use hand sanitizers, and clean and disinfect surfaces on a regular basis. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 3,731 with 490 recoveries, 380 registered new cases and two deaths. 205 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 166 are contacts of active cases and 9 are travel related. The deceased are a 61-year-old expatriate and a 21-year-old citizen. And the Ministry expresses sincere condolences to the families of the deceased. The Ministry of Health urges everyone to adhere to the rules and follow instructions and avoid public places when possible.